Hey there, my name is Josh Diotti, Van Guru here at Van Do It, and today we are here to talk about our lithium battery system. Now we offer two different battery systems here at Van Do It. We have our AGM battery system and our lithium battery system. And while I could talk about the differences literally all day long, we are going to keep it short and simple while at the same time educating you to decide if the investment is worth it. We will be doing this by asking you some questions to help you consider if it's right for you as well as getting into some of the product features. So with that being said, cue the cool B-roll. So I'd like to start today by highlighting the key differences between lithium and AGM. Now the differences we're going to be highlighting are going to be energy transfer, capture power, as well as battery amp hours. Now I know some of that might sound like a foreign language to some of you, so don't worry. We're going to start and we're going to break it down super simple. So to begin, capture power. Now what may be surprising is that the input power for both our AGM and lithium system is actually the same. The difference is the battery's ability to hold on and capture that power. So while AGM will hold on to about 40 to 60% of power that comes is input, lithium will hold on to about 75 to 95% of power that's input. Now, this becomes extremely valuable for those that are doing getting an afternoon of solar or maybe a few minutes of driving with our lithium system, as it will charge about twice as fast. Now this is extremely valuable for those that are operating outside of areas where shore power is readily available, such as campgrounds or national parks. If you're going to be traveling a little bit more off-grid, then lithium is a key component that you should definitely consider. Second, we've got output power, or using energy, if you want to think about it that way. Now anytime you use energy or have an output in power, there is going to be heat produced. So the reason this is important is AGM batteries, as you use them, they're going to have a steady decrease in their voltage, whereas lithium batteries will maintain a higher voltage around 12 volts for an extended period of time. So what this means is your lithium batteries do not have to work as hard to output power. Essentially, they're more efficient in the way they output power, whereas AGM have to work harder to get that voltage up to be able to power items. So why might this be important to you as the user? Well, this can become a massive benefit if your output is going to be a medium to high use. So what that might include are kitchen appliances, air conditioner, hot water tank, or really any other high wattage item. Now, while the independent output power of AGM batteries cannot run these items for an extended period of time, lithium can. So, if you're wanting to take a couple hot showers while using kitsch appliances on the same day, as well as maybe run the air conditioner for a couple hours, then lithium is definitely something you might need to consider. What I would encourage you to do is make a bulleted list of all the uh, electrical items you might think you might run, and talk that over with your guru to discuss what's best for you. Lastly, let's discuss battery amp hours. Now, what are amp hours? When referencing the size of a battery bank, the unit to measure how big that battery bank is, is going to be amp hours. Now, just because you have a certain amount of amp hours in your battery does not mean you have that many usable or accessible amp hours. So a helpful analogy may be a water well. So picture that well as the total amp hours or the total amount of water slash energy you can hold. And then the bucket is the type of battery you are going to be using. So say you have a 300 amp hour battery bank and it's made of AGM batteries. As, due to the inefficiencies of AGM, as you dip down into that well, you'll be able to access about 220 of those 300 amp hours. Now with lithium, you'd be able to get closer to 290 amp hours. Essentially your bucket maybe is not so tall, so you can dip down further into that reserve with the efficiencies that lithium provide. Now on top of having more usable amp hours with lithium, lithium also has a bigger capacity. So essentially in the same amount of space that we fit 300 amp hours of AGM, we fit 400 amp hours of lithium. So why is this important to you as a user? Well, even though we're only going from a 300 amp hour AGM to a 400 amp hour in lithium, that's almost twice the size of battery bank when you consider usable 
amp hours. So this becomes extremely important for those that are considering traveling off grid, where standard use of AGM can give you about two days of use, you get closer to five days of standard use with lithium battery bank. So again, this is definitely something to consider if you are going to be staying away from places where shore power is readily available. So now that we've talked about some of the educational pieces to consider to decide if this is right for you, let's get into some of the product features. So one of the most notable features with our system here at Vanduit is we employ the Mastervolt Lithium battery system. Now why this is important is because we don't pair different brand batteries with different brand inverters with different brand control panels. What we do is employ the Mastervolt inverter with the Mastervolt batteries with the Mastervolt control panel. So essentially what this allows us to do is maintain a level of safety while at the same time providing an easy to use user experience. And so right behind me, you'll find the Mastervolt control panel. And this is essentially your control center for your electrical system. And so beyond showing just a battery percent level, what's great about this control panel, or as I like to call it, Jarvis, is it'll actually show you in real time the output power for components being utilized. On top of this, it will give you a real in-time reading for time remaining with what's currently running in your system. So essentially based on what you have turned on in the van, it will tell you for the exact amount of minutes that your system will continue to run before dying. That was just a couple quick examples of how our control panel provides an easy to use system. Down low in our electrical cabinet, you'll actually find our 2000 watt three in one inverter. Simply means that you can charge three different ways via solar, alternator, or shore power. Right next to this, to down towards the back of the van, you'll find your 400 amp hour battery bank. With our live model, this is made of two batteries that are 200 amp hours a piece, whereas on our do model, this is made of one battery that's 400 amp hours. That's all I have for you here today on our lithium battery system. Some things to keep in mind to decide if this investment is worth it for you, as well as if you'll use this lithium system to its full capability. Keep in mind that the capture power is almost twice that of the AGM in your lithium system, which means you will charge about twice as fast. Second, keep in mind that your output power is more efficient, which simply means if you're going to be having a medium to high output uh, with higher draw electrical components, then lithium may be for you. Lastly, consider that your usable amp hours or battery capacity is gonna be twice that in your lithium that is found in the AGM. So you almost have twice as big as a battery bank, even though you're only 100 amp hours bigger. So that's all I have for you here today. Remember, connect with your guru, give them a list of electrical components you think you might be using, and they can help you really decide what's for you or not if you're stuck. So with that being said, we'll see you guys on the next video.